as we discussed before, account schedules are limited to just the global dimensions that we set. However, if we would like to make use of other dimensions, we can do so by assigning them to an analysis view and assigning that view to an account schedule. This allows us to add up to four dimensions to an account schedule. When we assign an analysis view to an account schedule, the account schedule no longer uses GL entries to create the amounts and instead uses analysis view entries. Assigning an analysis view to an account schedule is a simple process. If we first of all go to our account schedules page, we can simply populate the analysis view name field on the right hand side here with the analysis view that we wish to assign. And we do that on the particular account schedule we would like to assign it to. Doing this allows us to filter amounts in rows using the dimensions totaling field, which we can access by personalizing the page and dragging through the dimensions we would like. So just having a quick look at the uh, revenue one that we have here, we can see that we've got a department code for totaling and project code for totaling. These are our global dimensions on this particular account schedule. So let's have a look at this in action. So as mentioned before, the revenue account schedule that I just shown you, I'll show you once again, has the department and project totaling codes um, available for totaling. And these are our global dimensions. If we go to the overview of this account schedule, we can see under the dimension filters, if we just choose show more, we can see that the, de the department dimension filter and the project dimension filter are available here for us to filter on. These are the global dimensions. These are available for us to use. Now, we can look at adding more dimensions to this by assigning an analysis view to this account schedule. Say I would like to add areas and customer groups to my account schedule. These specific dimensions are not global dimensions. So we can go to the analysis views page. And I'll open the sales analysis view that I have here. This is one I've created earlier that contains the dimensions that we're hoping to see. Area and customer group. I'll need to widen my account filter in the general tab as well to contain the purchase accounts along with the sales accounts as my new account schedule for revenue includes both those categories. Updating this field means I will need to delete and re-update my analysis view. You can see that that's written on the confirmation message that's come up here and we'll say yes to this as we need it and we'll run the update function from the ribbon just to make sure this is all ready and up to date. With this done, we can go back to the account schedule for revenue and we go to the analysis view name and we'll assign it the analysis view that we've just finished configuring. With this set, I can open the analysis view, edit account schedule, and we can see that the department and project code totaling fields have now changed to area and customer group reflecting what was written or rather what was specified on the analysis view that we've just assigned it. And with this, we can actually drill into a particular line and assign it a value. So if, for example, I have my retail sales domestic row here and I drill in, I can specify a specific area uh, that we have been reporting on and customize what kind of figures are produced using this feature. With all this set, we're good to go.